Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. We are making fried green tomatoes today. So sit back, take a few notes, and here we go. Okay, over here I have my skillet. This is a 10 inch skillet, and I am pouring vegetable oil in the bottom. I would say this is about one third cup or so, just enough to go up the side of the tomatoes because they're not cut thick and they're not cut thin, they're medium sliced tomatoes. And this is the vegetable oil that I used. So let's come on over to the table. All right, you guys, so over here at the table, I am seasoning the flour. This is one fourth of a cup of flour and I have less than one fourth of a teaspoon of Lowry's in there and I have just a sprinkling of pepper, however much pepper you want, but I just have a sprinkling because I don't like a lot of pepper. And then I also have less than a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder in there. Over here, we have eight of these Savoritz crackers and they are from Aldi. So if you don't have bread crumbs, because it usually calls for bread crumbs or some kind of panko crumbs rather, panko crumbs, um, if you have Oh, let me see. Ritz crackers or townhouse crackers, just some butter rounds. You can use that. And actually, this is what they look like. The buttery round cracker. So I have eight of those. And what I did was just put them in this snack size Ziploc bag. And if you have a mallet, that's fine or something to, you know, squash or crunch them down with. I just used the back of a knife handle, wooden knife handle. And I just went to town. And I just crush them all up real good, real fine. If you have a food processor, you can use that as well. What I did was put in this also less than one fourth of a teaspoon of the um, Lowry seasoning, a sprinkling of pepper, and a little bit of salt. And I am using the sea salt because it tastes best to me. So just a sprinkling of that. Don't want to overpower it. You want to make sure to mix it up really, really good. And you can basically use the amount of seasonings that you like, but just for the first time, it's best not to go overboard with the seasoning so you don't overpower. And if you want to taste your um, breadcrumbs, of course, you can do that and make sure they're seasoned to your liking. I wouldn't taste this plain flour over here because <laughs> that would not be good. All right, so here I have some 2% milk because you all know I do not do eggs. So I have milk. And then over here, I have the tomatoes. And what I did was sprinkle salt on both sides of the tomatoes after I sliced them and just set them aside. You wanna set them aside for about 10 minutes so that the moisture can drop out of them. So they, you know, Get, the, get that wetness out of them. So you wanna pat them dry if they're not fully dry yet. They're not gonna be fully dry, but you know what I mean? Just get that moisture out of there. All right, so since I patted dry, you know, my tomatoes, they, you know, dried out pretty good, but I patted them dry a little bit more because they were still a little moist. So what I did was I went ahead and put a little bit more sea salt on them, just a little bit, because I patted some of the salt off that I already had on there. So I do not want to use red tomatoes for this. <laughs> As you see, I have one of my tomatoes was turning red, but I knew I wasn't going to eat it like that. And I said, well, let me just go ahead and try it because if you, if they're really, really red, it's just going to be mushy. So that's why you use green tomatoes. So since this was just a little bit pinkish, you know, wasn't even turning red real good yet, I said, let me see how this turns out. So you don't want to do like Tracy, but you want to use all green tomatoes. All right, your tomatoes most likely will not look like this unless you have used tomatoes out of your garden and you have the same kind. I have brandywine tomatoes. They're really hearty, almost like a steak tomato, if that makes sense to some of you. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and dredge it in this flour, the seasoned flour. And I'm going to dip it in the milk. And then I'm going to 
dip it in the breadcrumb mixture, get it coated really good. Now this is breadcrumbs. I don't know if I said it before, I hope I did. This is breadcrumbs, eight crackers that are crunched up, plus two tablespoons of white flour. So I hope I said that before. If not, hopefully you're watching this video one time through before you actually make it. <laughs> so this is the breadcrumbs, like I said, mixed with two tablespoons of flour and it's seasoned, just like I stated before. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a paper plate. I'm using paper plates. You can use whatever you'd like to use. That is fine with me. If it's fine with you, use what is most convenient for you. And here's the skillet with the vegetable oil in it and it's ready to go. Make sure that you have a paper towel lined, some kind of pan. This is a foil pan, just one that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna sit it right behind my skillet, my pan. And here are the green tomatoes. So I'm about to fry them up. The oil is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in. I wanna make sure that the oil is hot just like this. So it starts to fry right when you get it in the pan. And you wanna quickly get them all in there. They're different sizes, so it may take a little bit of a different amount of time to get ready. Get a small one to put right in the center. One more thing, you guys, this oil is mostly covering these tomatoes. Just a few of them, like this one is not totally covered and this one, and part of this one is sticking out. So that's fine, but I just thought they were gonna come up maybe halfway up, up you know, beside the tomatoes, or up the side of the tomatoes. But some of them are covered, which is just fine. So we're gonna let them go. They've been going for about mm, 40, 50 seconds now. I do have tongs to turn, but I don't want to use the tongs because when things are kind of lightly coated, um, and of course this is not meat, so it's like it's not like the coating is just packed on there real tight. On the tomato, it's just a little loose, but it's coated well. But still, I don't want to knock the coating off with the tongs. I'm going to use a fork so that I could just just barely put it in and flip it. Um, and at the same time, this is a non-stick skillet and I do not want to scratch my skillet. I don't want to scratch my pan, so I'm going to be very careful. So you can use either one you feel most comfortable with. I just don't want to knock all my coating off. I'm going to use a fork. I'm going to go ahead and see if they are ready to flip. Oh, I think they are. That one is nice and golden brown. That's the first one that I put in right there. I'm gonna give these just a few more seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the rest of them. As you can see, by the last time I'm using two forks. So I just kinda of wanna do a little flip here. Get them turned. Gently so that the grease does not splatter and burn you and flop on everything else. So there we go. And that was after about two minutes total. And it's on medium heat. It's on medium high heat. All right, it has been about another minute and a half. I'm going to peek under here and see what's the going zone. Ooh, that's good and golden brown. Good and golden brown. I'm going to flip these one more time, the rest of them. So I'll be back in a few seconds to flip the rest of them. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of them flipped on over. I'm 
I'm going to flip this one back over because that one's not done enough for me. Put this one in the middle. I'm sure it is just because it's in the middle right on the heat. And as they cook, you'll be able to tell, you know, which one's ready or not. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. Let it drain just a little bit. See the coating stayed on really well. So I'm putting it back on this paper toweling back here. So I'm going to do this one the same way. It's ready to come out. Just going to go ahead and let it drain a little. I'm going to take this one off. See how that is still draining? So you wanna hold it over there a second and let that grease drain off of there. All that oil, whatever you call it. And I am letting the grease drain off. And so as soon as I get these done, I am putting another batch in. So I'm gonna put them in right away. That big one right in the middle. All right, guys, I wanted to do a taste test on camera because people ask me to do that. So I've already started sopping it in my ketchup. You can use ranch. You can use any kind of a topping that you would like to or, or dipping sauce, rather, that you love. A mayonnaise mix of some sort or whatever, but I like ketchup, so I'm using ketchup. So I am dipping it in there. Mmm, these are good. I've heard, but I think I may have tasted these when I was little. Seems like I remember my mother making them, but I haven't had them in years. And when people be, you know, when they would say things about fried green tomatoes and ooh, making fried green tomatoes. I didn't give it a second thought because I couldn't even remember. If I've tasted them, I couldn't remember if they were good or whatever. And just a tomato being green, it just doesn't sound like it would be tasty, but this is good. Mmm. That is really good. I'm glad. I still have some green tomatoes out there on the vine. Mmm. <laughs> That's delicious. So if you make them, let me know how they turn out for you. You can put any combination of seasonings that you want to. I'm sorry if my camera's crooked. I'm in a hurry on my way to Isaiah's game here in a second. So, but I just wanted to get the, hurry up and get this filmed and this video uploaded because a lot of you have been commenting on the, you know, tomatoes and, you know, please make the fried green tomatoes from the garden, because they weren't turning red for the longest. If you all have seen my vlogs, you know the tomatoes did not turn red for forever. And people were like, just make, you know, the, the fried green tomatoes, because I kept saying, if they don't turn red, I'm gonna make fried green tomatoes. They was like, make the recipe, make, make the green tomatoes. So, mmm. Those are delicious. Very easy, as you see very very easy and very very tasty mm, mm, mm. mercy all right guys i gotta get the rest of them out of the skillet like i said if you make them let me know subscribe if you're new here i love to have you as part of the traces Price family i'm trying not to show everything as i'm talking <laughs> but thumbs up this video that helps this video to reach more people and um Click that notification bell that way when i upload a video you'll know right away and share this video share it on facebook and different places like that please share all right love you all be blessed i'll see you guys next time right back here on tracy's place bye